Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Odd Dustin, and welcome back into Mosh Pit. We're going to talk a little bit about Callisto Protocol. we got some new updates. Not a whole lot's been going on. I kind of had hoped that E3 would have shown some Callisto Protocol news. Maybe Striking Distance Studios would have been on Jeff Keighley's deal, or the Xbox stage with some, hey, we're coming to Game Pass, day one, kind of fun nonsense, but none of that happened. Uh, but after E3, we did get a couple of little updates, and I found some stuff that I missed that uh, was posted on the Striking Distance website. So let's go over all that stuff and uh, geek out a little bit on some very, very minor Callisto Protocol news. All right, first thing was Striking Distance Studio Turn 2, and uh, they are saying that they're expanding, that they've over doubled their studio. So that's kind of exciting for me. Uh, they are a brand new studio. They also say that they're still growing, so they're growing and adding people to the team as they need it. Uh, hopefully, they're making an amazing game for us all to experience. Maybe next year? Next, next year? Maybe <laughs> maybe year after? I don't know. We'll get it when we get it. Hopefully, it's not broken. That is that. That is my new hope for all video games, is that they just don't release broken. Also, on the anniversary of my favorite horror movie, uh, which I think is also Glenn's favorite horror movie, The Thing, on the anniversary of The Thing, he posted a new piece of concept art. So let's take a look at that. So the first thing that jumps out to me here is this arm here on this guy's arm is kind of dislocated slash stretching kind of weird. <laughs> like the shoulder is not where the shoulder should be. And the hand and, and the forearm are kind of stretched out and kind of weird with some maybe goop coming out of there or, or maybe like a second hand and the hand skin is falling off the old hands something i don't know that's gross <laughs> whatever it is is gross and uh he doesn't quite have a face it's more of a gigantic chunk of used to be head that maybe opens up and swallows your face like the trailer i'm assuming that this is kind of the monster that they ended up having for the trailer and for the game um, we'll get into a little bit more on creature design and that in the next little piece of news here. Another piece that I found very interesting is that all the dates you now, I, I, maybe I'm reading this wrong. I, I, you know, my eyes aren't the greatest, but maybe I'm reading this wrong. But it says 2077 on all of the end dates there. And that could just be because people were excited for Cyberpunk and they threw that in there. This is concept art. This is not the game art. And so, you know, if you're going to put a date in there, you're excited for Cyberpunk. Um, you know, maybe they put in 2077 there as kind of a little uh, Easter egg to Cyberpunk. And then being that this window uh, has a readout on it, we can't really read it. There's blood stains. It's kind of a frosted glass. So I don't know what any of these words are saying. If somebody is able to look at this and figure out words, can you throw those in the comments below? I'd love to know what that says. And then also this language here which I don't know, is that Korean or what? I'm, I, don't, I don't know the, the languages with the symbols that well. I know that it's not, it doesn't look like Japanese or Chinese uh, to me, so I don't think that it's Mandarin. Uh, but, you know, I, <laughs> I read English and Spanish okay, <laughs> but uh, and not so much in anything else. So if somebody knows if that is actually a word, or if those are real symbols from another language, uh, let me know. But very exciting to get uh, some concept art. I would like more concept art, please. Give us some more of that. Or maybe some game screenshots. A little bit of that. So when I was looking through Striking Distance Twitter account, I noticed that there was some tweets that I hadn't seen earlier in the year. And they have been tweeting out kind of developer profiles for people that work at the company. Um, and I want to pick up uh, a couple of little pieces of those articles uh, from their site. I'll put all the links to these things down in the description below. So if you want to go see them yourself, uh, just check the comments. Uh, I mean, the descriptions down below there and you can get all the links. The first one was from back on May 26th. We have Glauco Longi. Is that how you say that? Glauco Longi? <laughs> I'm so bad with names. He's the character director for Striking Distance Studios. So he's the one who is helping that team create the characters and bring in either motion captured actual human actors uh, or to create the creatures within the game. And it goes over the article kind of starts with a little profile on uh, him, what his interests are, hobbies, that kind of thing. But then it gets into the Callisto Protocol. 
So down here it says, let's talk about Callisto Protocol and specifically the creature we saw in the cinematic teaser trailer. What are the challenges when it comes to creating something like that when you're trying to be grounded in reality while also delivering on horror and expectations? And he says, we've been exploring multiple styles of design since the very beginning of the project and the creature, that creature was one of the first ones we came up with. It really set the tone and the design and visual bar for the game. <laughs> yeah, the visual bar is uh, dripping with goop and uh, sticking its tongue mouth thing into people's faces. He's super happy with how the public is reacting to the trailer, which, uh, yeah, I, I think all of us have been fairly excited for that. Uh, but the biggest piece here, and it's a good update for us as fans and people that are watching this game, one of the big pillars of our project is realism. So we definitely want to make sure the creatures are grounded in reality and that they look believable. We do that through distorting human anatomy, referencing corpses, <laughs> skin, and even some animals with a little bit of creativity and novel twists added in by many different people. It's definitely a huge collaboration from the start to finish in order to land on something super cool and interesting like that monster. So they, I don't know, <laughs> they're referencing corpses. So I don't know if they have uh, taken a field trip to a morgue. Uh, are they referencing corpses from other horror films? Uh, are they taking live scans of skin? Um, who knows? <laughs> but they're referencing corpses was the thing that's popped out to me. I was like, hmm. Are we going to have, uh, you know, they do, if you saw the new Horizon um, 5 trailer, they've talked about in that that they went down to Mexico and did a whole bunch of pictures to take that and then overlay those pictures for realism within their game for Horizon. I'm wondering with Callisto Protocol, if they're doing the same thing, are we going to have monsters that have been overlaid with real pictures from corpses? <laughs> I don't know how they would legally be able to do that. Um, it is being developed in another country, so maybe that's a thing, but I don't think so. <laughs> I'm I'm assuming that they are referencing corpses, not maybe scanning corpses, but who knows? Who knows? It definitely would be a unique uh, twist to have uh, actual dead corpse uh, skin overlaid for realism. Now, on the uh, talk of realism, we have another interview and uh, developer profile of Jorge Jimenez. And he's the general manager for Striking Distance Studios in Spain. They open an office in Spain. He's the general manager. And he was talking about realism as well, and also next-gen hardware. So on the topic of next-gen hardware, he says, Well, since I want to avoid picking a favorite, which is good, <laughs> I don't want to get into which console's better. I'll just say that next-gen hardware offers new tools and lots of potential that combined creatively will be a crucial to blur the line between games, films, and reality. I look forward to people seeing how we are leveraging these tools for the Callisto Protocol. And we all look forward to seeing how you're leveraging those tools as well. And then the interviewer says, now that we can talk freely, a little more freely about the game, how does your vision for rendering impact the horror design? How important is it when it comes to nailing the tone and feelings we want to leave people with? And he says, our rendering foundation builds from lighting, accuracy, and consistency. The attention to detail and supporting artists with workflows to create photo real materials. This brings the visual closer to our present reality, helping to make our futuristic horror even more believable. Unnatural horror in naturalistic environments has the strongest psychological effect. This has been the basis for some of the best horror movies. <laughs> so, again, here we talk about realism bringing what is real to our current day, but then adding an unnatural tinge to it. And uh, that makes me even more um, excited that they are going to be taking photorealism to the next level. Now, there has been quite a bit of horror that has been really good looking from uh, in-your-face kind of high-end graphic look to it. I think Resident Evil Village was a pretty good job of those environments, they didn't look real, though. You know, they still looked like when you got to the Duke and you're buying some stuff from in Resident Evil Village, he still looked kind of cartoon character -y. It wasn't 100% realism. You know, you didn't feel like you were there. Um, so I would like to see a game take it to the next level. And it sounds like they're trying their best to do that. Um, scanning corpses and all. 
but the the director there in Spain is um, giving me hope that that might be what we get from the Callisto Protocol. And uh, being that they're working on it and we haven't seen much from them, they're still working hard. So it's possible that it might end up being on uh, Unreal Engine 5, which if you've seen any of the previews, I, I suggest you go out and check out some of the Unreal Engine 5 footage. They are really pushing the envelope of realism when it comes to character creator and the design abilities of that engine. Uh, it really is uh, next gen. And so I would like to see something a little more like we don't really know what engine this is built on so if it's unreal engine 5 and they're doing photo mapping of uh dead people <laughs> i see dead people uh then that's exciting stuff and that's all we have this month for callisto protocol news as always i will keep my eye out and if anything new comes out about callisto protocol or from striking distance or glenn's post and stuff about other horror stuff you know i'll i'll keep that on my little tracking list here and I'll put out another video uh, maybe next month with some more Callisto Protocol news. In the meantime, thanks for watching. If you could hit that like button if you like this video or any of my other videos, I would really appreciate it. The likes help a lot, and I will see you in the next video.